In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer the 2023 Maths Method Sample Exam 2 Question 4. We've got the probability density function f of a random variable x is given by f of x. The value of a such that the probability that x is less than or equal to a equals 5 on 8 is... The probability that x is less than or equal to a equals 5 on 8 means that the area under the graph of f of x from where x is equal to 0 to where x is equal to a is going to equal 5 on 8. f of x is a piecewise function. We can see that the first part is going to be a straight line from where x is equal to 0 to where x is equal to 4. And the second part is going to be a negative line from where x is equal to 4 to where x is equal to 7.2. And so its graph will look something like this. To find the value of a, we first need to check what is the area under the graph of f of x from where x is equal to 0 to where x is equal to 4. Now if this area is greater than 5 on 8, then this means the value of a is going to be less than 4. And if the area is less than 5 on 8, then this means that the value of a is going to be larger than 4. Integrating x plus 1 on 20 from 0 to 4 is going to give us this area. Now we want to check whether 3 on 5 is larger than or less than 5 on 8. And so if we just say, is it less than 5 on 8? And so this is true. And so 3 on 5 is less than 5 on 8. And so this means that the value of a has to be larger than 4. From here we can say that 3 on 5 plus the area under the graph of f of x from 4 to a, which we can write as the integral from 4 to a of the rule 36 minus 5x over 64 dx has to equal 5 on 8. Setting this up in the calculator, we can solve for the value of a. And now solving for a. We get two values. Looking at the decimal values, a is equal to 4.1 or a is equal to 10.3. We know that the value of a has to be between 4 and 7.2 and so it has to be the first one. Expanding it, we're going to get the value of a is equal to 36 minus 4 times root 15 on 5 which is option C. Now, if you guys want to learn and practice exam style questions similar to this one, then join the Maths Methods Club where you can group past Maths Methods exam questions by topic. For probability density function questions, click on probability from the main topics and then from the subtopics select probability density functions. Go to question type, select multiple choice and then click on filter. This is then going to instantly group all the past Maths Methods exam questions in the multiple choice section that's asking you about probability density functions. Go through these questions and see how you go. This way, you're going to be much better prepared for your stacks and exams. And if you get stuck, you can watch the video solutions. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.